See, this is the thing that I think we kind of blur. Sometimes you can marry somebody, and guess what? Mm -hmm. They still treat your kid like. I, they I, still treat I your kid some. not like a stepchild, like a foreign child. Mm -hmm. so why you married him? But what, I know someone. Yeah, that's a whole different situation. That's a different question. But mm -hmm. the thing is, is like sometimes we try to add validity to a situation, not understanding that whatever validity, paperwork, whatever document mm -hmm. that you want to add, is never going to actually make the relationship of that parent and that other child. Um, blend. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's not act like paperwork isn't doesn't make things like official and doesn't make things real. Let's, no, it does, but it doesn't make parenting real. It doesn't. It's like we always no, I'm just saying let's 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 not act like that's not the case because if the person wants to be your father, mm -hmm. he will adopt, adopt you and take on legal, financial, parental. Etc. Responsible responsibility for you. But like, what if he's doing that without all, the paperwork? Huh? What if he's already doing that without the paperwork? I mean, it's not real. I'm sorry, like it's not real. Hey, you you can you can, you can believe whatever fallacy you want to believe. At the end of the day, what is real is it is was it was recognized by law. Listen, if you come, it doesn't matter if you're married or not. I agree. I agree for certain if you're people, or not. but everybody is not the same, and and because of. I'm like, not saying you don't have a relationship. Me been that way, but now I need to be like, I need to. Listen, all I, I know want is a that... solid foundation, and I want to know like, mm -hmm. I'm not just taking on someone's kids and adding more difficulty into my life when I have my own. I'm trying to be a multi-million. For zero. Yeah, for, zero. for nothing. For what? <laughs> For zero, Why for literally for nothing. somebody else's kids. Now that I have a kid, it is. Listen, right? The innocent child of that parent. Not anybody else that's involved. Like, why are we conflating these things that are so simple? I'm sorry. Preach. If I date you, I'm dating a person with a kid. Mm -hmm. Now, the difference is I am legally, financially, X, Y, and Z responsible for you if I adopt you. Like, let's not conflate. There's a huge difference between the two. Because if someone adopts your child and you guys divorce, they are still legally responsible for your child until 21. Right. That that is a hard, a hard bag of chips to follow. 21? <laughs> you gonna pay child support, college tuition, all this other fucking bullshit until you're 21. Paperwork. <laughs> that is why paperwork is important. If you don't, if you don't want that responsibility, like let's let let's not like confuse this well, shit. Let's you don't not want... also confuse the flip side. And the what flip, is the flip the side? The flip side is. But you're not gonna let me finish. No, you don't okay, need thanks. to. You but you're not gonna let me finish. Wrong. But you don't want to. But you don't want to be interrupted. I'm do you want to let me speak? No, because I'm, I'm just saying. Do you what wanna you said speak? to me was no. Do you want to speak? No. But I'm not gonna stop. Do you want to? No. Do you want to speak or do you want to let me finish? All I'm saying is that let's not conflate. Even as as fucking romantic as it sounds, y'all. At the end of the day. A parent is somebody <laughs> who is legally, financially, morally, everything responsible for a child. Mm -hmm. And paperwork is what makes it official. That is why paperwork is important. And I know a lot of y'all don't want to believe in paperwork because you think that the government is after you. The, the government knows you and where you are Regardless, you have a social security number, you have a cell phone, you have a bank account. You go to public schools in a state, and the state has to report to the federal government. Like, you this is really crazy. I, I don't want to be in the system. Are you in the system? Are you serious? First and foremost, you can't just adopt somebody without the actual biological parents signing off their rights. So now- Not really. Yes, I mean, if they're present, yes, really. Not really. Yes, really. So, talk, so now, it, it's based on your state's government. It's, it's based on the government. Yeah, well, let's talk about New Jersey, New York, because if you want to do it, I'm still right. But anyways, oh, nice. well, well, well yeah, yes, you do live here. So fuck I you. don't live in New Jersey. I said New York, New Jersey. Yes, you I live in Texas. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so let's, 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 well, I'm not even going to argue this now. So what I will say is you, it's not that simple. We can't just say it's a fantasy. No, guess what? If somebody has a child and they are still present or whatever the case may be, if they don't want to sign over their rights, I don't give a about how much you love that child. I'm never signing it over to you. So you can't adopt that child. But yet that does not signify the relationship that you have with that child. It does not signify mm -hmm. the bond that you have with that child. It does not signify that you are possibly a better parent than the actual biological parent. It's not what I said. But what I'm saying is, what you're going by is legalities of official. Not what I said. Official, official, it's not official. what I said. 
You're going by the official documents, and I'm telling you, it's just important. She's just saying that it's important. Will never ever be present because the opportunity does not exist.